you have uh, rooms or um, places in your home with no electricity and you can't figure out why well today I'm going to show you how to check for a bad breaker but it is very dangerous and um, you don't want to attempt it if you've never done it before okay first thing you do you're going to come out to your main breaker this is the General Electric most of these have a lid cover that will stay up never trust them this one is simple it has one screw at the bottom now to do this you won't obviously this is a flat slotted screw you'll need a flat screwdriver and a, a non-contact electrical tester I'm going to take the cover off you're going to be very very careful if this thing goes back into the um, panel you can get electrocuted so do this at your own risk okay what we have here is some breakers uh, this is a 240 amp it's going to sub panel I already know previously that this, this is the breaker that controls the lights in the house so I have two rooms with no lights um, I can check okay, these all have okay when I get to this one there's no there's no juice in it all these others are hot except for this one leg right here so that tells me that one leg of this breaker is dead and I verified that before with a sub panel in the garage that this feeds there is one lead coming in that is dead so this breaker it's a 60 amp breaker it is more than likely the culprit here and um, I'll come back in uh, another video and show you how to change this out so anyway, that's all it is. You just need a non-contact tester. I like the Kleins or the Greenlees. Um, they, they've done best for me. Um, so anyway, um, that's pretty much how you test for a breaker. Now, if this was a single, uh, like this one here, if this was a single breaker, and so you had dead outlets, and you came here and it wasn't hot, then this would be your bad breaker. But these wires, coming out of your breaker are going to be hot that's what leads to the circuit that we're uh, we're looking for same way here um, and not all breaker uh, not all panels are labeled properly and you see this one is hardly labeled at all and some of these aren't even right so never trust what the panel says if even if it's uh, you have one that is actually labeled so anyway that's how you're going to test for a bad breaker um, Everything in here is hot right now, energized. So if you just reach in there and touch something, it would fry you like a fried pie. So anyway, Donald, we call it DIY. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on the blog. And I'm going to get this on and uh, we're going to see about a break or someplace. And like I said, if you've never done this before, it's dangerous. Um, best to call electrician. But uh, if you feel confident, this is how you, you're going to do it. You're going to find that dead leg, and uh, it'll tell you which breaker it goes to. And just to FYI, if you're testing these, and you know, make sure they're on because if they're off, obviously there'll be no electric. But this one's on. This is on. All of them's on. So this is our dead leg, and it's our 60 amp double breaker. So anyway, Donald Blue Collar DIY. I'm out.